Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing five excellent tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy keyboard. This is simply going to enhance the use of your keyboard and make things easier. So let's dive in and get started right away. All right, so the very first thing I want to talk about is known as the text shortcut. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So for example, if I wanted to share my address with somebody, I don't want to type that every single time. What I want to do is I want to create a shortcut that auto fills the entire address. So one example, in my case, my shortcut is Saki address. So when I type that in, my full address right here is going to pop up. I just tap on it and boom, it is going to preload. Another example I'm going to show you guys, let's say I want to send my email to somebody. Again, I don't want to type in the whole email if it's too long, Saki mail. So when I do that over here, my full address is going to show up. I tap on it, it pre-fills it. So let me show you how to get this done. Just a quick one more example, just so you get the idea. Let's say you want to say, hey, what's up to somebody? Again, instead of typing the whole thing, all you do is, hey, what's up? And it's going to show up at the bottom. You tap on it, boom, it is pre-filled. So here's what you want to do. You want to look for this settings button here, okay? It should be here most of the time. If you don't see it over there, just tap over here and it's going to be in here somewhere. But go to the settings and then simply go into text shortcuts. You tap on this guy right here and look at how I have these things set up. So for HWU, it shows, hey, what's up? For Saki address, it says 135 South Springfield Road. And for Saki mail is my full email address. I can edit these if I want to. But let me make a new one as an example. I'm going to just say uh, X, Y, Z, okay? And I want that to be expanded to, just for the sake of example, I'm just going to say happy birthday XXX www. So I'm going to add that in. Now look at that. I can have that as long as I want. But if I go to my text window here, and again, if I just say XYZ, boom, the whole thing shows up here. Bam, it pre-fills instantly. So fantastic little feature to make things easier, and even to make you more productive. Create as many shortcuts as you desire. Before we continue, a quick word from our sponsor, Blinkist, which happens to be one of my favorite apps. So basically, Blinkist takes top nonfiction books and condenses the core message inside that book into a 15-minute text or audio. This allows you to digest the core ideas and the essential information of a full book in 15 minutes or less, which is a massive benefit for anyone who is short on time and has a hard time finding to sit down and read. So now you can still do it and keep your intellect sharp. Now there's going to be thousands of titles and 27 categories of the world's best knowledge to choose from. So recently I discovered this book titled Lying by Sam Harris and I wanted to read it but didn't have the time. Luckily Blinkist had the same title compacted into 9 minutes which I read first and then listened to the audio version while I was driving. That is just great. So here's the deal. The first 100 people to go to Blinkist.com slash Saki Tech are going to get unlimited access for one week to try it out. And if you decide to keep your membership, you'll get 25% off their usual price. This is an incredible deal. All the links are going to be down below. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is pretty cool. Okay, so again, I'm going to go to my text messages and take a look at this. I'm going to say hello. And what's going to happen is, not only am I going to get suggestions uh, for emojis here, I'm also going to get suggestions for stickies, okay? And I can scroll through as many as I want. Tap on hi, so look at that. I can send that over to anybody that I want. Now, to activate this feature, you want to go into the settings. You want to go to suggest stickers while typing. And you do want to make sure this one here is enabled, Moji Talk. If this is not enabled, it's not going to show up. And then go at the bottom. I want you guys to say, show above the keyboard or show in the predictive text area. I like this one better. It's a better separation. So anytime you write something, okay, let me see, buy. And if it has any stickers available, it, they're going to show up on the top. And you can choose immediately. Remember, you can also have this over here, but I like the separation. Here I have my text, my smileys, and here I have my sticker. Boom, boom, you're good to go. Let's move on 
Now, next thing is pretty simple. Some people don't like these numbers on the top here. It makes the keyboard too cluttered. So what you can do is you can hide them and activate them only when necessary. So again, you go to your settings, tap on the settings, then you go down to layout right over here and you simply hide the numbers, boom. So now they're gone, but if you wanna access them, you can tap here, it's gonna appear on the top as you can see. And one more thing, if you wanna change that space bar a little bit, make it a little bit more accessible, Sometimes people tap on the space bar, but accidentally st uh, step on coma or the um, dock key. So what you can do is you can go with this layout here. Now you're not going to make that mistake. And if you do want to access the coma and the dot, you tap here, they're going to show up right there. Okay. For some people, this works better. I like this one better. All right. So let's look at the last tactic. So again, bring up your keyboard and go into the settings. And then what you have at the bottom here is something known as the high contrast keyboard. You can tap on this guy, you can enable it, and you're now able to pick from four different options. Okay, now these are to make the keyboard more visible to the eyes or just some fun factor, change it up a little bit. So you got four options, you got this, this, and this. Personally, this one is my favorite, black letters on yellow keypad, but for now I'm gonna keep it to the usual but that's a great and quick way to customize your Samsung keyboard. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.